Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here. Welcome back to another server admin tutorial, otherwise known as bucket plugin tutorials. If you're joining me for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button because I do these every week hopefully trying to do more than one a week but we'll see how that goes if you have a suggestion of one you'd like me to do feel free to comment that in the jibbles below but please do a quick search on my channel because i've done over 120 of these i've uh, been doing this for a while so anyway based upon the suggestions i'll give you a shout out when i get to it like this week is brought to you by the frozen wolf pack as well as chronic squid so Shout out to those guys for suggesting it. This is a really cool plugin since we've been we kind of went over grief prevention last week, and that is a you know an anti griefing tool. But I think mainly it's kind of like a land management tool. This one's just a straight up anti griefing tool made by Intelli Andy Ho Wang. So to you two that I have suggested this plugin, thank you, and uh, feel free to promote this as much as you can because this is for you guys. Now, Core Protect is fantastic. It's super powerful, very lightweight. You have an option to, to hook it up to a database, which I'm sure would probably improve the performance of it if you have a very large server. Um, and it allows you to roll back stuff based upon users, upon area, upon world, upon the whole server, uh, based like an hour, 50 minutes, two seconds. It's crazy what you can do. I'm just, I'm not even gonna touch all the stuff that you can do with this plugin because that would take so long. But I'm gonna give you guys the basics to help you figure it out, and then you can you can play with it on your own and on your servers and i hope you guys are able to use this to really you know cut down on griefers and protect your server and the gameplay of your server members um i'm possibly going to look into putting this one on my fan server i might put a different one i don't know i think we'll probably go over another griefing plugin next week or anti-griefing plugin next week but anyway it has an optional dependency of world edit, which you probably are going to be using on your server already. And all that allows you to do is rather than selecting a time, uh, a radius, or a world, you can select, you know, use your world edit wand to just select the area, which is really cool. So there's there's basically only six commands with this plugin, um, and that's and then everything is, revolves around those commands. Um, and then we'll talk a little bit about permissions towards the end. Uh, if you want to, you know, give your mods and your admins some some access to stuff like possibly inspect or look up tools so that they can do some investigation um, on that kind of stuff. So anyway, like I said, there's six commands. We are going to go over. Um, CO, CO help is you know the basic one. It's going to show you oh geez, show you everything that you can do. Um, and then you got your COI, which is really cool, actually. Let's let's get it back in here. So now you see inspector mode enabled. Now you can right-click on areas, and it looks like, oh, man, Zen Gamer has been up in here doing stuff. Oh, not over here, not over there either. And um, But uh, that's an that's investigation tool, which is really cool. And it looks like it was 0.55 hours ago. It was him, and he removed grass or dirt. Um, like I said, that's really cool. There's another lookup command or a inspection command called C, like lookup. Um, so there's there's basically three commands that use the same parameters. That's lookup, rollback, and restore. So your your lookup command is like an investigation command, and it will use the same layout, which you'll see on your screen here at the top. Um, on all of these commands, you can specify the user, you can specify the time, you can specify the radius, you can specify what kind of actions you want to restrict it to, you can specify to what blocks you want to investigate, you can um, exclude certain blocks from the lookup or the rollback or the restore, and then you can even add a hashtag at the end so you can do a preview of it or you can count, you can do a count of what is going to be changed. You can also then do like a verbose at the end which is going to display more information or silent which is going to display minimal information which is super cool. So let's go ahead let's do this let's go user zen gamer and then let's uh check out his actions of chat oh man he has been such a jerk so let's go ahead and go co roll back user zen this is so cool i think that this is just crazy um let's roll back his chat for um can we do let's see time 
um, point three hours. I don't know, twenty minutes. Is that twenty minutes or so? I don't know. Let's just do one hour. So there we go. That action can't be used. Okay, so I guess you can't roll back the chat. But anyway, let's get into rolling back an area. So let's actually use the axe and let's um let's go into oh geez game mode one so i don't have essentials installed so looks like he's probably actually hold on let's let's do some more lookup so let's go look up user zen gamer oh there's no e um let's see what else can we look up we can do actions kill so that's going to show the mobs and then time one hour oh i didn't put that one in right <laughs> zen oh man i cannot spell what the heck there we go so now we can see that he's been killing some animals stuff like that um i wonder can we can we just look up without a user no we have to specify a user um interesting there's some of these things that you can do without specifying the user but since we're doing a lookup all that stuff um we don't we don't need the user or we we kind of need the user there so anyway so what we want to do is we could even just roll back based upon what he's done so we can do let's let's get those animals back co um roll back or i think you can do rb user Zen Gamer actions kill one uh, time one hour. There we go. Radius ten blocks. Limited action. Okay, so it only went in a radius of ten ten um, blocks. So we want to specify the, the radius here. By default, it's going to do um, ten. So it looks like in this area, there's only one entity that's come back. Um, so then we're going to do, um, we're going to do this world. So if we want to specify the world, we do hashtag world. And then let's put a hashtag at the end called verbose, which is going to show us more information. So we see that, uh, this pig came up and three entities have been changed. So, uh, he has been rolled back. His animals have been restored. I wonder if... It looks like it has not removed the items from his uh, that he got from killing those things. So that's kind of a note. Um, let's see. What do we want to try next? So let's try rolling back this radius. Actually, let's do this. Let's select this area. Let's only select some of it because... Oh, whoops. I forgot that I still had the inspector on. So, and then we're going to... Expand three down. Oh, right, because I was still on inspect mode. So there we go. So expand three down. And then we're going to go CO rollback user Zen Gamer time one hour. What else? What do we, what do we need? Oh, we need R, then hashtag world edit. Or you can spell it out too. That's fine. And then um, we'll just do that. We can exclude certain blocks. We can do exclude. Um, what is oak? Let me take a look here. Oak is 17. So let's let's restore everything except block type 17. So exclude block 17. If you want to add more blocks, like maybe we don't want to restore the leaves as well, which I don't know what leaves are off the top let's let's take a look what oh whoops okay well looks like we uh <laughs> i hit enter instead of instead of uh backspace but looks like now we see that we've uh rolled back send gamer for one hour radius is based upon the world edit that we we uh selected it has not restored the uh the trees in the area so if we want to restore the trees then let's just um there we go <laughs> that's interesting okay so it does it has not restore the um the leaves because those were not edited by him so that's kind of funny so if we want to just restore all of that 
we do that. There we go. So we remove the user of that and then we can restore all of that, which is really cool. So then if we want to remove, like undo that, we gotta restore um, time, one hour radius, world edit. Uh, whoops, help if I, there we go. So if we decide that that is not something that we wanted to do, you actually have to use the restore command to restore that back to what you wanted to do. So then um, you can do other things. Like I said, it's it's crazy the amount of stuff. Um, the list of actions that you can select um, will be on the screen as they were earlier. There's just, that's all the stuff that you can do with A. And if you want to add more things to each uh, colon selection, you do... Um, a comma in between each one and then the last command that we have to go over before we talk about the permissions real quick is purge so what uh, core protect is going to do is it logs all the information of the users into the uh, file the database file that it, it creates or you know your your sql file if you want to like if you notice that file is getting huge and you just want to save some space some hard drive space you can purge so you can do co purge and then specify a time you know one week you know two days uh two hours two minutes two seconds so if you want to do a month you do 30 days and what that's oh it's purge not purger <laughs> what that's going to do is it's going to remove all the information that's older than that time period um, so be careful with that one make sure that there's no changes older than that that you need to bring back because after you purge it's gone forever so the last bit to go over is the permissions so permissions are kind of um, pretty basic they are core protect uh, core protect and then the uh, command that needs to be used so we've talked about inspect look up roll back restore purge and then there's also reload and, and we talked about help so if you want your users to have access to any of those commands you'd be core protect dot inspect you know i think maybe you know the core protect dot inspect might be a good thing to even give to your users because it will t you know they could do their own investigation it doesn't give them access to anything else to change anything it just it's a investigation so the child permissions of all of them are you know block click container kill and it's basically those actions that they can do so if you don't if you want you know your user or your mods to have access to a rollback feature you know so that they can do uh, restores of certain areas and all that stuff you give them corporate core protect dot rollback and then dot if you don't want them to be able to to roll back blocks or clicks or containers which is the you know if, interacting with chess or you know all that stuff you have to negate those child permissions like you would so if you don't want them to use, to roll back blocks you would do core protect you know you do a minus core protect dot rollback dot block so hopefully that helps you guys out this is there's so much more you could do with this plugin it's crazy i just wanted to get you guys up and running and understand how it works so then you guys can extrapolate and um you know be creative with how you restore all of that stuff so hopefully this helps protect your guys server and you can you can protect your players gameplay and all that stuff to interrupt myself really quick before we finish this episode now i actually was uh, i just wrapped it up and i checked a few more things this is really cool and i i gotta keep it in here so you can do a few different things with this as well in the configuration i thought you really couldn't do much with the configuration but um the config file has pretty much basic stuff like enable what you want to track all that stuff you can enable it true false blah blah, blah in there now if you want to change this if you want to change your logging per world like you want to log different types of things or you don't want to log anything in a different world there's a couple things you can do first you can use per world plugins and just disable core pro protect in those other worlds that works or built into the plugin you can copy this config file change this to be the world name so if you want to just turn off uh maybe we'll do this we'll do the end so you just change that to be your world name and then you open this up and then you can change what all the stuff that you want to enable so if you don't want it to um uh, 
let's see, if you don't want it to be able to roll back items, you change this to false. You basically change all of this to false, these um, logs that you don't want them to do. So that is that is really neat. I think that's super cool. It's built into the plugin. You can disable logging per world. Now, the other thing you can do is you can create a text file in here and name it blacklist. Let me double check that that's the correct name. Yes. So you can name it blacklist. Of course, you got to spell it right. And then you can open this up and then you can disable logging for some certain certain things globally. So if you don't want to log anything from one of your users, let's say you, you can put that in there. You can also put a hashtag and then um, stone. So that's going to, this is going to change the configuration so that it won't log anything from cause for Christ and it won't log any blocks broken placed anything like that that's stone or you can change that to maybe you don't want to know tnt but you probably want to know tnt and then you can put more um users there that's so cool that's built in so let's get back to the end of the wrap up of the episode feel free to hit that subscribe button please leave a like if you found it helpful and um We'll see you guys next week. So this is Cos from McFriends reminding you guys all, enjoy the game. God bless. Nice. Wow, we already got six. Oh, hello. Hey, hey. Oh, oh. hey. Oh. Okay, we're good. We're good. I don't even know what that was, but I killed him. How did he spawn? He came from inside of our...